Connectivity, E-Mobility, Autonomous Driving, Digital Transformation, the automotive industry is currently undergoing significant changes. Automobile companies are looking for new ways to improve the driving experience and provide new services to their customers. In this video, we will focus on connectivity and show the challenges and solutions of building connected car services. According to the KPMG's Global Automotive Executive Survey, one of the most important trends in the automotive industry is connectivity and digitalization. But what is so exciting about connecting cars? Your first idea might be connectivity for autonomous driving. And yes, that is a use case, but connected car is much more than autonomous driving. Connected car is about improving the customer driving experience and creating a new set of services for automotive customers. For example, finding your car, unlocking your car with your cell phone, monitoring car data like fuel levels or battery charge, receiving traffic updates, getting a software update, enabling car sharing services, controlling a large fleet of cars, trucks, buses and other vehicles, and many more. Connectivity and moving data between the car and the cloud is crucial technology, now and for future mobility services. Connecting cars, or vehicles in general, has some unique technical challenges to it. The first one is quite obvious. Cars are mobile. They will possibly drive into an underground parking garage, a network blind spot or out of network range. A dropped connection means data and messages cannot be moved between the car and cloud. How to handle dropped connections is critical to providing reliable and responsive user experience for connected cars. While the car is moving, the cellular network can introduce latency into the messaging communication between the car and cloud. Again, this can create an unreliable and unresponsive user experience. Connected cars can also impose significant spikes upon a cloud infrastructure. Car usage peaks during rush hours, so the connected car platform needs to be able to scale to ensure the continued responsiveness of the end user experience. A connected car platform needs to be able to broadcast a message to all the vehicles or a group of vehicles in the fleet. Traditional web technology like HTTP makes it very difficult to send broadcast messages. Now that we understand the unique technical challenges of connecting cars, what solutions exist to implement connected car platforms? It turns out that existing web technologies like HTTP are not suited for unreliable networks and bidirectional data movement. Some connected car platforms will try to use SMS and HTTP, but these technologies result in unreliable and slow end-user experiences. We need to look for a new way. MQTT is an IoT standard that implements a publish subscribe protocol which is ideal for a connected car. HiveMQ offers an MQTT enterprise platform that implements the architectural features required to build and deploy a scalable and reliable connected car platform. Let's understand how. Let's take a look at the basic MQTT architecture. MQTT is based on a publish subscribe protocol. MQTT clients publish messages to a central MQTT broker, which then forwards messages to other MQTT clients that have subscribed to the message topics. For instance, a car could publish its speed as an MQTT message and an Android app can subscribe to the speed messages to visualize the speed. The MQTT broker will handle the message forwarding to the Android app. The publish subscribe protocol also allows for the broadcast of messages out to a group of vehicles and even millions of vehicles. If a network connection is not available, the vehicle will wait until the network is available before attempting to transmit data. While the vehicle is offline, the HiveMQ broker will buffer data and as soon as the vehicle is back online, immediately deliver the data. Similarly, if the mobile app is not online, the MQTT broker will queue the message and deliver it once the Android app comes back online. The key here is that the connections between the MQTT clients and broker are persistent. Network interruptions don't require the clients to proceed through a HTTP-style handshake. 
The MQTT Publish Subscribe architecture enables an always-on push connection to the connected car platform in the cloud. MQTT provides three different levels of quality of service that can guarantee message delivery. These service levels make it possible to create connected car services that function in a reliable manner. HiveMQ also supports message retention policies and offline message queuing, which are essential to accommodating unreliable mobile networks. Connected car platforms need to be able to handle spikes in user demands, for instance during rush hours. HiveMQ's implementation of an MQTT broker is designed for high scalability and high availability. HiveMQ implements a masterless cluster architecture that allows for scale up and scale down to support simultaneous connections for millions of devices. This means a reliable user experience regardless of spikes in usage or system outages. All these features together make MQTT a reliable, scalable and efficient solution for connected car platforms. With a highly scalable broker like HiveMQ, it is also ideally suitable for controlling large fleets of vehicles. As mentioned in the beginning, MQTT and HiveMQ are already being used by some of the most important car manufacturers, including OEMs like BMW and Audi, but also Tier 1 suppliers like Sirius XM, ZF, Autonomic and many others. If you would like to know more about how MQTT and HiveMQ are used in production by the automotive industry, feel free to read the case study we wrote for BMW Mobility Services. We recommend everyone who wants to dig deeper into details reading our white paper Enabling the Connected Car. All the links to our resources can be found in the description below. Thanks for watching, please visit our website hiveandq.com and please contact us if you feel like we could help you with your use case.